Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Bliss Bond. I am here today to help you have the most blissful bond. He's trying to regurgitate for me. This is Eclipse, who is not a parrotlet, even though the video is about parrotlets. But in the video, you're going to mostly be seeing... Oh, thanks for the preening. You're going to see Don. See, he's trying to feed me. Oh, thank you. Uh, my parrotlet and Frenchie. Um, you know, a lot of people prefer the male parrotlets. I find that the female parrotlets like me better. I like that. Today I'm reading you two emails that I received on parrotlets and I'm answering the questions because they're similar questions and it's a myth that's obviously still out there that perpetuates parrotlets being um, caged by themselves. So the first one, she had two beautiful female parrotlets about two years old. Sadly, the one I had before the other died suddenly. My remaining had never been alone before and she did everything with the first. Both were cut, or sorry, were out <laughs> and about me all of the time and my remaining one still is, but she's stressed and bites me suddenly and has started over grooming and chewing off her chest feathers. Mm, that's not good. Um, I know it will take time and she's adjusting, but I would love some advice about her over grooming. Am I planning on bringing home a baby parrotlet female for company? We'll introduce them carefully. I hope she will accept the new one as a friend. Any advice for me? I just feel intuitively she would be happier because she does call out to the birds outside. Or would this not be a wise move? Anyways, any advice would be lovely. Thank you so much. Awesome question. Now here is the second one, which is very similar. Okay, I have scoured forums and the advice seems a little counterintuitive to me and you don't seem to have any issues with all sorts of birds being together. That's true. I had, although I will tell you guys, most of my birds are caged with their same species. I have a few exceptions. I had a pair of parrotlets, neither of them very tame. One died suddenly after a bizarre seizure. That has left us with just Twinkle, great name. Twinkle loves for me to sit next to him and he will engage me. He comes out of his cage and flies around the room a little and goes right back in his cage. But he really has just has zero interest in being a pet. He is super mean biter if we have to pick him up and move him into a travel cage. At any rate, his best friend has died on him and all the forums are telling me not to get him another friend, that they are liable to hate each other. He won't bond with me, yada, yada. Well, at this stage, it's okay if he doesn't bond with me as my pet. We have very busy, active lifestyles with four dogs and spend many hours in the room with him as we have a... Oh, so I think they're saying spend many hours with him so that there's a body next to him in his cage. And he is full of pin feathers all the time without his little preening friend. I'm at a loss of what to do. Would you recommend he should have a friend? Yes. <laughs> his other little buddy was a male. He is maybe three years old. Or should I just know he is happy like he is and just turn on some bird videos when we can't be with him? If I do get another bird, should I try to get a baby? Or is that irrelevant and male or female? Thank you for any opinions you can offer. So um, two great questions and somebody came back. Yay. Um, <clears throat> And um, on the one hand, the myth that I feel like people perpetuate is that you should only have one parrotlet and that's what I wanna bust. And then how to put a adult with a baby is a really good question because you can't always put them just together. Now, my first instinct is that depending on the age and um, it sounds like all these parrotlets are young, the female parrotlet might do okay with the baby. You're gonna have to keep your eye on them. But in both cases, yes, I would definitely get them a companion. Why? Because like the person noticed, the parrotlet's getting pin feathers. And in the first story, the person is noticing that their parrotlet is a little lonely. What are you doing? You're just so bitey. Thank you. Thank you. Are you trying to bond? Bond with bites? Here, go up here. There you go, there you go. Um, so how you put them together is going to be the key. Yes, you can do a male or a female. Yes, you can do a baby or an adult, but 
No matter which you do, if you do a baby, keep in mind that for six months to eight months, it's possible that you can't cage them together. So in any case, whether they are the newcomer is a baby or not, one of the first things that you want to do is that you want to make sure you have a second cage. If you want, the second cage can be small because it is temporary in the long run. And hopefully if you can let them out, it won't matter because they get their practice flying around anyway. So you want two cages and I wouldn't put them too close together initially. As the parrotlets look happy and comfortable with each other, I would get them closer and closer. Once they, the cages are really close, I mean, they could be touching, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, after your quarantine period kind of thing. Once the cages are super close, when the parrotlets are really close to each other and kind of like touching each other through the cages, that's a really good sign that they're going to be fine together. The next thing you want to do is check when they're out together. <clears throat> when they're out like in a play area, in a common area together, and they are sitting next to each other like this, and they're preening each other, um, the way really Eclipse is being with me. See, he's trying to groom me. Yeah, I know that's not supposed to be there. It's a Band-Aid, huh? Yeah. That's because somebody bit me. I don't know who. Um, as they start to give you signs that they're bonding, that they're um, bonding means preening each other, sleeping next to each other, sitting next to each other. Those are signs that <clears throat> they are going to be okay together. You could start to put them in a cage together and oh, really? keep your eye on them and expect that they'll be okay, but do keep your eye on them. Now, the only other um, challenge though is ideally you want to put them in a third neutral cage together and now Don's with me. A third neutral cage of course means you do have three cages or maybe take the larger cage, take it away. If I could I would take it away for a couple hours while they're in a common area together. I would wash it real good. I would take everything out and then I would rearrange perches, rearrange where I put the food, uh, rearrange toys so that when they come in, it seems like a new cage. It's not the first parrotlet's cage and territory. It is now like, oh, look, it's kind of like, have you ever um, reorganized all your furniture and it feels like you're in a new house? That's the feel you want to give them so that they come in together and it's all like they get to claim it as a their own, as in both of them, not one of them is like, hey, you know, I liked you, but you're not supposed to be in my territory. You, that's what you want to avoid. Now, I will also tell you that hopefully I'm going to get some footage, but I don't know if I will. Uh, right now, I have some baby parrotlets and they're always looking for a home. But my one thing I do is I keep a older parrotlet and I don't do this all the time, but I like to do it. And the older parrotlet will feed the baby. Now, by older though, I mean the generation before. So they're older by maybe a couple weeks, maybe a month, but it's really cute and sweet because sometimes I go to feed the baby and I'm like, you're already fed, your crop is full. The other parrotlet already did my job for me. So if you do get a second parrotlet and you have a female, and you notice that she's feeding the baby, don't freak out. Feeding from crop to crop is one thing. See, she's feeding me. And then like trying to bite at the feet, trying to bite at the wing, those are aggressive behaviors. If they're being aggressive, separate them. If they're feeding each other, mwah, 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 they are bonding. So there's love there. Then you don't have to worry. So, Please, yes, get your parrotlet, another parrotlet. I'm also going to show you footage of my aviary where I have several parrotlets. If you want to get a really big cage, you can then put more than two together, but not the babies. Don't forget, the babies wait until they're about six to eight months. They'll kind of give you an indication. What's the indication? You can kind of tell. They're just not as much of a baby anymore. They can hold their own. And frankly, they turn into teenage bullies. They kind of start to boss the larger parrotlets or the older parrotlets around because like teenagers, they think they're invin invincible and 
their bodies are young and healthy and strong and at this point kind of invincible so when they're behaving like that generally speaking you might have to switch and kind of like make sure your older parrotlet's okay although if the parrotlet's only two three years old they're going to be fine but always always just keep your eyes on them make sure they're doing well just to avoid any problems but then what's going to happen is you're going to have parrotlets that do preen each other have much better well-being and are far more likely to be social don't eat my phone don't eat the phone because they are happy because they have an immediate flock whether you are just observing a beautiful aviary or whether you have a pet either way it's always super beneficial for a parrotlet to have a friend thank you for joining me in this blissful video if you are looking for a parrot baby to adopt please visit parrotbliss.com forward slash available hyphen parrots and maybe you'll get one of the ones I'm raising or if you are looking for a species that I don't have because I only have a couple species, I will point you in the right direction of someone that does. Thanks and I'll catch you next time. Oh, don't forget to give us one of these.